insane. I'm Heather Valentine, sales specialist and entrepreneur. Follow me and enjoy the ride. Hi guys, so we're just inside the Paddock Motor Club and my friend here, Bobby, from Go Bad Forge Wheels, hi, he's going to give us a tour of the facility. So we're in luck today, Bobby's a member and he knows all about this space. Hello guys, welcome to the Paddock. Let's go. Inside we have the most essential drink, coffee. <laughs> just in case you're thirsty. Money, you could do a little damage in here. Definitely my kind of club. So, Bobby, it's obviously a beautiful club. Um, what do they use this space here for? For cinema, movies, and most importantly, the Formula One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can never get enough of that. No. Awesome. And then I saw there was a stairwell when we came in. What's yeah, upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. It's a surprise. Okay, let's check it out. Here's our restaurant. We have a chef on call for your events. Wow. Whether it's a birthday celebration, an engagement, yeah. a new car purchase, a new Lamborghini purchase Something you, you want, want to celebrate. celebrate. We got you covered. Some of our members enjoying the collection. Hello. We'll get out of your way. Oh no, you're not in the way. We're just drinking. We're, We're just checking it out. Wine. You guys are welcome to come in. <laughs> you're definitely not in the way. Such a cool space. And my new house is like really close to this, so I may have to become a member. Oh wow. There's a big tiger in the middle. This is for hilarious. the I love it. Yeah. And soon we will be able to have a four-way match on any track of your choice. Oh my gosh. Formula One feeling, shakes the, the chairs move, shake, rattle, and oh, roll. Wow. You will feel the feedbacks, hit bumps, see anything. Oh my gosh, this is Four awesome. This is super fun. And I will definitely get a demonstration of these in action as well. They're all loading up right now, so soon we'll be able to enjoy them. This is, uh, this is like, I'm a kid in a candy store in here. <laughs> I love it. Check out the main reason we're here. Absolutely. I'm learning, I'm very beginner. 
I have a great uh, golf pro at Glen Abbey that helps me. That's so. Right. so we have a golf course here available for you even in the winter. Yeah, so nice. You can either race simulation or golf simulation. Okay. Either way, you can keep your skills sharp. So you can get better Absolutely. and practice. And get ready for the summer. Yeah, you guys in uh, sunny California, you should feel bad for us. We have winter. This so. is where we go in the winter. <laughs> to golf. This is what we do. All right, let's keep walking around. We've got a pool here. I'm sure this is fun, especially after a few drinks. <laughs> oh, who wants to cut the hair? <laughs> Who's getting their hair cut? Should I buzz it off, guys? What do you think? Yes? No? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> or actual silk paintings I made. What's up with the lockers here? So does every member have a absolutely, locker? Absolutely, absolutely. A member has a locker oh. here for the race suits, helmets, to enjoy the automotive arts. I see some interesting things over this way. But who's counting? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, I make jokes about it's a bull, not a pony. <laughs> But the reality Better is, work. I love all brands. I love all cars. Bugatti. Speaking of classics, it's a little it different get... from the Chiron that we saw last uh, week or two on the channel. <laughs> Definitely sport one of these. Oh yeah, for sure. Period. Correct. Yeah. Let's go. Here. Thank goodness is out here. Oh. Back. One mirror. So this has been kind of rebuilt with the addition of a couple of little snails there. <laughs> they managed to up the power a little bit on this baby. So this was made actually, by, I believe, by Creator Cycles. George did an amazing job with the turbos and the twin turbo kit on this wow. Ferrari Testarossa. My buddy Alex. Yeah. Something you don't see often every day. A Volvo. Yeah, beautiful cars. Beautiful cars. cars that come and go here. Oh yeah. You so it's just always transitioning, right? Absolutely. You never know what you're gonna see. No, but it's like this one. <laughs> Four hundred horsepower, all wheel drive system. Wow. You don't see too many of these Nuts. guys around. Look no. That. This one is quite the fast piece. This is another rare one. I'd I like to think... see a trail space if I drove one would of you, these home. Would you like to take a guess on what this one is? <laughs> this is a Panos. Wow, okay. So I wouldn't have guessed right. No. Complete race car, got it, roll cage, runs a big V8 in there. I can't remember which V8, but I know it's about 700 horsepower. It's a lot of power. On the one ride. of the, yeah, wait till you hear this one run. <laughs> <laughs> Quite insane. This thing is another beast. I think this one yeah, is about 600 like horsepower. A... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's had oh, yeah. a little action, Absolutely. right? <laughs> Absolutely. None of these cars are garage goons. No. They get abused. Yeah, I can tell. They got built to be hey, used. Why have it if Absolutely. you're not going to enjoy it? No, it's over. here today was to show you this insane car. Now this is actually built from an original 1968 Lamborghini Espada and they have hot rotted it out. So I'm here with Matt from Artefa. We go way back Matt and I and he reached out to me. He said you know you have a channel all about Lamborghinis. You've got to see this Lamborghini. And like I said, Bobby is with GoVad Wheels and he's Forge Wheels and he's gonna be here explaining the car to me. He's a good friend with the builder. He knows all about the vehicle, the ins and outs. So let's have a walk through. All right, Bobby. So there's a lot going on. I don't even know where to start, but I know this is a great place to start. This Perfect. is your world, right? Absolutely, so absolutely. explain to me what we have here uh, regarding the the wheels, the tires, what's going on here? So I'm Bobby from Govad Forge Wheels. 
Uh, this is a collaboration we did with Danton Arts Customs out in France. Uh, this is our first special edition G67 Rumi wheels. Um, they're forged wheels, three piece. And we had the chance to place it on this one of a kind Lamborghini hot rod. So Beautiful. this is based on a 1968 uh, Lamborghini Espada chassis. So this is one of the first cars from Lamborghini, if the first car that had a four seater. So this car was built on a full chassis. It was completely operational, not a salvage chassis. Uh, it had the engine, the transmission. And actually, coincident enough, that's all that is left of the original, the original. Spider, is the <laughs> transmission and the engine. Everything else has been well, custom made. Well, not all. There is one little There is piece. one little surprise, <laughs> yes. We'll We're going to get to that. Yeah, it is beautiful. Oh, yeah. my God. I mean, I, I, it's kind of like freaking me out because the viewers know I'm always about OEM. Everything's OEM. And we show beautiful Lamborghinis, Absolutely. but rarely do I ever come across something like this. So it's very cool that Matt uh, reached out to me and were able to showcase this because uh, I'm sure the viewers are like WTF, like what's <laughs> going on? And um, you guys will definitely have to comment below if you love it, if you hate it, what you think about it. I can't wait to read your comments. But let's keep walking around. So I see they've done the uh, Perfumante Absolutely. Stripe Absolutely. here, you got the Italian flag, they've kept that. You got the modern inspiration with this edition here. Yeah, yeah. And is this original though, this rear? No, these are additional. Okay, well. okay, this air intake. So this is, um, and I, I see they've done the, the red suspension down yep. there. Very cool, tied in with the colors of the Italian flag and the wheels. Totally. Let's keep walking around. Um, the paint job here is, these are all painted on. There's no decals or oh, stickers wow. anywhere beautiful. on this car. Beautiful. It's got a beautiful satin gray paint. So that this, was, is, this is similar to like a Grigio Titan. For very similar, yes. Heat. It's a custom yeah. color though, but mm -hmm. it's very similar. Yeah, I can tell inspired. it's not Titans, yeah. but it's just, that's the closest thing it reminds me to for the OEM paints. Um, it really yeah. is beautiful. It kind of gives this illusion of um, metal, you know? Totally. Like I love the, totally. the satin finish on it. This was a great work done by Hervé. Uh, he's out in France, oh, okay. a friend of the builder, and they did the paint on, on the whole car, obviously. Okay, so they did an amazing job on that one. To come to the rear and we have a very interesting, one of my favorite parts on this, the whole car is full of favorite parts, but yeah. one of the creative parts on these <laughs> are these Favorite every time you find Absolutely. a new angle. <laughs> yeah, this so is nuts. These are polycarbonate tail lights. Yeah. And if you see the air bubbles inside, these were custom made by using a torch on top of wow. the polycarbonate to induce the air bubbles inside. Oh wow. And and they look amazing. absolutely amazing on this car. I guess that's where they Velcro their plate. Right? Yes. <laughs> well, right Tech now we have the plate on. here if you want to see. Yeah, actually. That's funny. There you go. As you can see, this is from... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not in Toronto's plates. No. But it's cool that we got it here in Toronto absolutely. and I was able to showcase it. Oh, you got to show them. Me? Thank you. Okay, wait. Honest. How do I how do I access it? Because Okay. <gasps> That's the original fuel cap. It's nuts. I love it. <laughs> so, moving on. Absolutely moving this on. This interior. Have you sat in this, Bobby? Absolutely. It's a, it's a tight fit, just like a hot rod should be. Yeah. I don't know if I can get in gracefully, but I'll, I'll try. I've tried one. It so would it would have been worse when as I was. As you get in, that's hey, all I, I was getting in and out nine months pregnant, yeah. so this is gonna feel like nothing compared to that. Wow, love it. She's ready. <laughs> I'm born ready. I see they have the start button, the Otacon start button here. Oh, wow. These are riveted aluminum patches. Oh, wow. This is a trademark of Danton. Alex built this, which is truly unbelievable. He uses it uh, certain times as an embellishment, and yeah. some other times they're completely structural. It's very cool. What's the power on this? What's the horsepower? Oh, we haven't really done the measurements, but okay. it's got enough sound and grunt. I'm not really looking for a high horsepower numbers Yeah, I was this, just curious. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure the viewers would It's about would 300, know. I would assume. Okay. But it and you said sounds it sounds spectacular. very cool, spectacular. right? It has we'll all the pops too. and... Oh yeah, we're going to give you guys a chance to hear this beast. So we were actually just doing uh, some research ourselves because, as you guys know, I don't have a spot as lying around the dealership selling them. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is actually a 3.9 liter V12 and the horsepower is roughly 350. 
So it's pretty crazy to think that a car from 1968 has morphed and modded into this. So on a cool note, we also have the hubs here, which are from a Ferrari. So we have a Ferrari hubs and a Lamborghini hot rod as well. A little bit of rivalry going on there. <laughs> Cross-brand utilization That's okay. Here. You're both Italian. Absolutely. We're all friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, even this. And the piece of resistance right here, we oh. have a signature from uh, Fabio Lamborghini here. That's so this cool. was done in a Miami unveiling where he viewed the car and uh, gave his blessings and approval to the concept and the execution. And did he say what he thought Ferruccio would think of that? He said he would approve. <laughs> it was in the same Atla tradition that he started Lamborghini. As we all know the history between yeah, them. Yeah. So. Well, this I is guess something we'll never know exactly, but no. if Fabio says so, we'll take his word for it. Absolutely. That's as close <laughs> as we can get to for which you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and I see some more signatures Absolutely. over there. So we have uh, Danton Arts Customs. Alex, he did the signature on this as well, since he built it and put a lot of time and effort into this. And we also have Richard Rawlings as well, too. He viewed wow. this car recently in Miami as well and found it quite impressive and added his approval and blessings to it as a hot Very nice. Fashion, so. Very cool. Wow. We're very proud of that as well. So let's talk about this. I see they've certainly chopped this some sort of way, and I mean we've got yeah. these cool lights here. What do you know about this? So Bob? this was based on the original front end, but as you okay. can see, there is really not much resemblance left. Yeah. It's been cut, chopped, smaller, shortened, and um, right. nice little additions added in yeah, to give it beautiful. that more aggressive look. Yeah. Uh, we also updated the lights with four brand new LED mm -hmm. projectors. Very so cool. this will give you all the light you need and they've got nice glow on them, the, the halo rings. Yeah. So we'll turn these on and you'll see them. Yeah, really we'll fire nicely. it up and you guys can see Absolutely. and hear everything. See the lights, hear the engine and definitely see the smoke and the noise. Let's do it. Let's do it. watching my video guys if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button I'll be releasing new videos every week and I can't wait to have you along for the journey